Good morning, everyone. Uh, today, um, we will be going to discuss very, very important topics, the most important topics of physics that will be the key to success uh, for your final exams. Uh, I hope uh, you will like this video. So please uh, join this video and see this video up to end because uh, from the last uh, 13 years of experience, I had uh, collected these 50 topics, which are the most important one. Let's share that uh, uh, point with you all. Yeah, so my screen is already shared with you, everyone. I'll be just uh, starting my PPT. The most important topic, I'll be starting from the first uh, uh, unit. The first unit, uh, electrostatics, the most important one, eight marks uh, uh, weightage is there. We'll start with quantization of charge. Q is equal to any followed by uh, the Coulomb's law in vector form and their numericals. Most important one, we have to do their numericals also. Then uh, the expression for electric field on the axial line and equatorial line, then Gauss theorem, and it's all three application, whether it is of a straight uh, line, whether it is infinitely uh, plain sheet or uniformly charged spherical shell. And uh, of course, we have to deal the numericals based on electric flux as well as on Gauss theorem, the most important things. Then uh, moving on to the chapter two, which is again a part of electrostatics, potential energy due to the system of charged particles, capacitance of uh, parallel plate capacitor, C is equal to A epsilon naught by D, uh, numericals based on uh, series and parallel combination of capacitor. I'll be telling you the numericals also in between. Uh, capacitance of parallel plate capacitor with dielectric slab and with conducting slab. So these are the eight topics uh, for unit number one, along with this, uh, in all the chapters, you have to deal with the all the graphs and uh, the definitions, of course, very important, because uh, I'll not consider that to be the most important one. These 50 topics which I am going to give you today is the uh, key to success, not only to get the 90 plus marks, but for those students who said, uh, who used to say, sir, um, it will be very tough for us to pass in physics. Do this 50 topics till you have more than 50 days, one topic per day, and you can be the master of physics. Unit number two, drift velocity, expression, its solution, and its uh, relation with the current and current density, I is equal to Vina and other factors also. Then proof of Ohm's law, V is equal to IR, and its vector form also, J is equal to sigma E. Of course, the mobility, <laughs> numericals on series and parallel combination, very important. Numericals uh, based on the formula of uh, resistivity, R is equal to rho L by A, length and area changes, then how the things will going to happen. And uh, of course, numericals of uh, temperature coefficient, because that we had seen in one or two MCQ also. If you can do this uh, temperature coefficient, it's, it's okay. Otherwise, some people can leave that uh, temperature coefficient part also. Then moving on to the Kirchhoff's law, most important numericals, only numericals will be there. I don't think so the, the theoretical part will be there. So Kirchhoff's law, numericals and Wheatstone bridge also. So these are the things of uh, the first uh, two units, 16 marks or almost you will be getting from that. Magnetic field on the axial line and uh, on the um, axial line of the current carrying loop during the uh, byard servert law, using the byard servert law. Solenoid and its expression using Ampere's law. Force on a charged particle placed in a magnetic field, F is equal to B, Q, V, sine theta, and the helical trajectory, which is a, a part of cyclotron, but that will be there in our physics uh, uh, curriculum. Expression of uh, torque on a rectangular current carrying loop, tau is equal to I, A, B, sine theta, or N, I, A, B, sine theta, moving coil galvanometer, and uh, the numericals based on it, how it can be converted to the a meter and voltmeter, especially for shunt. Magnetic flux, sorry. Magnetic field on the axial line and equatorial line of a bar magnet, dia, para, and ferromagnetic substances. So these are two unit number three. Moving on to unit number four, electromagnetic induction, 
and their type self and mutual induction video could be a bit longer because uh, i have to cover the complete uh, syllabus of uh, class 12th so you are requested to be um, there in uh, till the end of the video faraday's uh, laws all the laws first law and second law of course the lenz's law also value of emf current and uh, emf and current induced charge of course and uh, their numericals then very importantly motional emf and remember in motional emf do uh, discuss do learn that topic where we'll be calculating half bl uh, square omega bl omega square so do that topic where we are talking about a uh, a uh, spike is rotating or a piece of rod is rotating in a magnetic field then moving on to the ac part mean and rms value of alternating current as well as potential all the phasor diagram whether it is of inductor capacitor or the resistance very very important all the phasor diagrams lcr circuit value of impedance and uh, its numericals resonance and quality factor very important resonance xl is equal to xc and the graph of that uh, omega and uh, uh, current ac generator and ac transformer very important one graph of electromagnetic waves that uh, um, electric field and magnetic field how they move uh, perpendicular to each other electromagnetic spectrum we will be discussing all about this gamma rays x rays uv rays infrared rays uh, uh, visible range and the micro and radio waves their frequencies their um, amplitude their uh, uh, wavelength and their production also uses of course moving on to optics very important one mirror formula 1 by f is equal to 1 by v plus 1 by u all three cases whether it is of uh, concave lens convex lens because the question can come with the, any type refraction through the spherical surface all six cases six six cases thin lens formula again uh, both the two cases for the uh as well uh, both the three all three cases sorry in lens maker formula both the cases and numerical based on all these things and, uh, especially those numericals where a uh, mirror or a lens is dipped into a liquid and what will happen it will become kind of converging or diverging then tir total internal reflection and all where we'll be discussing discussing about the right angled uh, prisms microscopes and their numericals especially on their uh, magnifying power similarly for telescope and its numericals of course in telescope you will be discussing the refracting type telescope also the cassegrainian and newtonian uh, telescope because uh, uh, that is also a part and mostly the question comes uh, that uh, how reflecting type telescope is better from this refracting type telescope moving further proof of laws of uh, reflection and reflection uh, using the huygens principle uh, then, uh, of course, the most important one, interference. We'll be discussing about the constructive and destructive interference and their expressions. Uh, I is equal to 4 I naught cos square theta. And, of course, their numericals will be, where it will be given that uh, um, lambda by 3 or lambda by 4 or lambda by 6 is the path difference. What will be the intensity at that point or amplitude? And the numericals could be of I max by I minima. Then, Unit number seven, dual nature. All three graphs of photoelectric effect with intensities, with potential and with frequency also. And of course, uh, the threshold frequency concept, failure of wave theory, that is a theoretical part. So this chapter is not uh, that much uh, of difficulty. Theoretical part, of course, you have to do. Einstein equation and the numerical based on it. And of course, how Einstein proof the laws of photoelectric effect. De Broglie equation, numericals based on it, especially um the numericals will be like we have one photon and one electron one electron and one alpha particle they have same kinetic energy what will be about their de broglie equation and all distance of closest approach expression only bohr's energy and their radii and their numericals very important en is equal to minus 13.6 by n square of course uh we can also add the uh lyman barmer passion series also into this because uh, the question can also we collaborated with the Bohr's energy formula. Binding energy curve from the nuclei only to give them to the uh, precisely we can do that one only. Moving on to the last unit, but not the least, 
energy band diagram very important of all things semiconductors conductors insulators and of course p type n type how donor level and acceptor level changes so you have to deal with that thing also finally pn junction diode in forward bias and reverse bias their vi characteristics and full wave rectifier and half wave rectifier why they are called full wave and why they are called half wave rectifier so these are the topics from my side i hope you like the video and do like and share my channel thank you so much and all the best for your final exams i'll be uh, trying to make some short uh, uh, expressions video also so that you can revise your chapter you can revise your topics also and if you have any particular difficulty of any topic you can ask me you can share me your views I'll be trying to make those videos first. Thank you so much. Bye.